Hey guys, this is Liz from Liz Spray Makeup and in this video I will be showing you um, the things that you need to start your basic makeup artist kit. One of the main important things you need to know about starting your makeup kit is that you're going to have to invest a lot of money. I mean, even if you have affordable stuff, but everything accumulates. So the second thing you need to know is that you're going to need to invest your money in something that will hold your products which is your train case. Um, so let's start. The first thing that you're going to want to have, it's like a little rag that would hold um, any product, any spillage that you have um, in the process of doing your makeup. So that's one thing to have. Um, you're going to need a moisturizer. I have various moisturizers. I use Embryolese right here. But a good affordable one is the Oil Valet. I just scoop some of the product in a little small container. And you will notice that you really don't need to carry huge amounts of product in your kit. You're going to want to need a primer. Um, I've been using the Revlon Photo Ready. And it's like a drugstore. I think you could get a sale on these for like 6 to 10 bucks or something. Um, you're going to want to use an eyeshadow base. I mean primer sorry I use the Urban Decay what I do is I take some product in my hand in my hand like this and then I put it back in this one is um, a model on the bottom model on the bottle um this is a setting spray this is optional you could add this as an option to your clients you could be, you could charge whatever you want obviously but you could charge about five bucks for two sprays of these um, you're gonna need concealers and I've bought various brands and I just add them in this little container here and I have everything I need in there <clears throat> for foundations I use the Ben Nye those are for um, theatrical makeup and it works well for me because it's full coverage and you know you could thin it out with moisturizer so it works for me um so i've just placed all my foundations in a palette because it's just more convenient which is already broken but anywho you want to carry some water um you don't necessarily have to carry on every on water this is pretty pricey to start so you probably want like a spritz bottle and just add you know water clean water you're gonna want some translucent powder um, to set the foundation, this one is from, um, I think it's, I think it's Ben Nye, I'm not sure, let me see, yes, it's Ben Nye, it's the banana powder, and, um, this thing is really inexpensive, and, and you get a lot of use out of these, um, let's see, you're gonna want some, type of eyelash glue which I have this one you're gonna want a mattifier for male I basically just use these on male because I use the primer on the females and then in here I just have like a little case where I just have um, sharpener um, little scissors like an eyebrow trio Racers and you know eyebrow pencils and stuff like that eyebrow pigment for the um obviously eyebrows so i have that in this one i also have you're gonna want a stainless steel palette this is the one that i use oops this is the, this is the one that i use i actually made this myself and i will show you in another video how to make this or purchase it off of me then you open this area here and you're gonna want some tissues some q-tips you know inexpensive baby wipes like uh, like these you're gonna want to carry your business cards which are almost all the time um you're gonna carry um some lip glosses the only lip glosses i carry are like the neutral lip glosses because you just mix and max mix and match I'm sorry can't talk today clear gloss your lip moisturizer or your Carmax or 
chapstick. Um, you're gonna want to take gum. That's a really must. And then you can create your own little palette of lipsticks. Inexpensive drugstores doesn't really matter. Um, you just take a good variety of colors, and there's your little palette. Um, you're gonna want a bronzer. I use this one, which is the Victoria's Secret bronzer. Uh, have another pair of scissors. Um, you're gonna want mascara. I have various mascaras. I have three different mascaras, which is the Mary Kay Great Lash and Stila, but the best one is the Great Lash, and is inexpensive again. You're gonna want some clear type of gel for your eyebrows. You're gonna want some antibacterial. You're gonna want either either cream, a cream or liquid or whatever you choose to use. Cake. This is cake liner to do your liner. I also have the Mac Black Track, and I also have the L'Oreal um, Telescope Eyeliner. Um, you're also going to want to carry a good amount of lip liners. And these are going to be your basic ones. Let's go with these. You need, whoops, oh that's not good. You're going to need four liners. These are going to be your basic. Um, you're going to need one that's red, more on the pinkish side, more on the brown side, and more like on the burgundy side. And that's all you basically need. Um, you're going to line those and then you're going to put the uh, lipstick on top of that. You're going to want a brown brown and black eyeliner. Again, lash glue. And for sure, like the most definitely, you're going to want your disposables. Like you need your mascara wands, your um, lipstick for gloss, uh, Q-tips, and these are amazing if you can't get none of the mascara ones for the um, eyelashes this works really well and it's like in the floss section um, let's see you're gonna want a highlight this is my favorite highlight that I could use on anybody it's called honey rose you're gonna want to have brushes brushes are really important um, you don't need that many depending on how many people you do you don't need expensive brushes either. And these are my brushes that I have here for this client. That's what I basically need. And you're going to need a little spatula or something to scoop out the product. Um, you're going to need lashes. Lashes. It's always a must. You always want to carry like a little bag to put your dirty brushes or, you know, your trash. Because you want to maintain like everything nice and clean. And then to palette you're gonna want to have let's see if I can open this. Um, in here I just created a MAC palette and then I just added three different colors for the eyebrows I added eye and lip primer and then I have two concealers one's in medium one's in orange then these are just lipsticks up here a blush I only carry one blush palette because I could always mix and match and these are let's see can you see these are all my blush, uh, all my blushes, and then you want another stainless steel thing just to mix stuff, and then you want a variety of eyeshadows, and you have to make sure that the eyeshadows you get are eyeshadows that are gonna work for you and your clients. So, these are my staple um, eyeshadows. The one palette I can't live without is this one. Give me any color combination and stuff, anything that has green, and I can make it work with this. So, um, I think that's pretty basic. All the stuff that you really need. Um, I will add pictures at the end, and I hope this video was enjoyable and helpful at the same time. Thank you. Bye.